106.7 K-Rock is K-R-O-Q. You are listening to the Kevin and Bean Show at 839, and we welcome Mike Shinoda to the show. Hi, Mike. Welcome. Hi there. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, thanks. Excellent. Yeah. Um, tell us about uh, the event that you're going to have, because I know, well, you know, let's start with the fans. Let's start with the fan celebrations and the fan artwork. Talk about that some. Yeah. Okay. So, well, it's been two months since Chester passed away. Um, the fans have been un- in- incredible. I mean, I-, I don't, I don't think we could have ever, um, expected such an outpouring of, of love and all these tributes. I mean, there's tributes there have literally literally been tributes all over the world um, for two straight months. I, I, if you if you're on Twitter, um, you know fan sites like LP Association, LP Live, uh, LP Catalog. These guys are are covering. They're basically retweeting and covering all of these these things. And and two things happened. I think from us seeing all that stuff. And the guys and and Chester's family were deeply moved by all this stuff. And um, one thing was that they all gravitated towards this track on the album, the title track that you just played, uh, "One More Light." And in fact, like the day Chester passed away, we were we were um, releasing a video about to gear up for um, a different single, which was "Talking to Myself." And the fans, like you know, they they they, they listened to that one, but they they really just chose this album track. It's sort of timing wise, everybody was like, This is the one yeah. that we need right now. Yeah, it really was. I mean, it's you know, once in a while in our career we've had different songs that have connected with the fan base in different ways where they, they just naturally, organically call radio stations and and request it and they, they tweet about it and they they um edit their own videos of their own, you know, stories or their own, you know, um, in some cases, things like things like their own successes, their graduations, their, their, you know, um, successes. And in some cases, it's been sports and stuff like that. And in this one, they were, you know, fans everywhere were making these montages of um, images of Chester, images of themselves um, to the song. And so we we kind of we realized that it, it had struck a chord with them, and we wanted to let them know that we see that, we hear that, and so we made it the official single, and we just did a video um, for it, which went up just a few, I mean, like minutes ago, I think, uh, maybe an hour ago. Um, yeah, it's on your Twitter page. If people want to right. go to Lincoln Park, they can check out the video there. Yeah. I, I I can't even imagine what you guys have been through in the past two months, but. I I can't believe the fan interaction that we talked about before. You guys have always been this band that that did so much with the fans from having them kind of take the place of PR in different cities, different countries. It has to have been just so beautiful to have that kind of it taken off of you guys that they're yeah. going to handle the tributes for this time while we regroup. Yeah, I mean, it's been that and I think um you know the song "One More Light." We we had written it at a time, we wrote it to in an effort to like reach out to people. It was a message of like we, we had we'd had a few different people in our lives. Um, this was like a year and like almost like a year and a half ago. Um, a friend of ours who worked at the record label, who's worked on our stuff since for, forever. I mean, she was like she had. She was a kind of a mid, lower mid level um, employee at the label mm-hmm. when we met her, and then she she kept getting promoted, and she was just such a great person and did such a great job uh, for a lot of bands, but ours being one of them. And and then she, just suddenly she passed away from cancer, and um, we wrote what, yeah, that like struck me, and I realized that we had we had lost um, some family members and friends and stuff all in the course of like a year and a half. So. I was in the studio and and wrote one more light, and so it was it was the, the the really the key lyric in that is the chorus goes who cares if one more light goes out and the punchline is I do yeah and the whole point of it is was was written to say like you know in times like these you can't there's there's oftentimes not a lot you can do for somebody who's hurting but you can reach out and say um, hey I'm thinking about you I care right um, maybe and sometimes that's enough. Um, so we, we, you know, we wrote that song, we, 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 um, Chester sang it, um, and it was initially like a, uh, intended to kind of reach out to somebody who had lost someone. 
And now we find ourselves on the receiving end of that, where the fans have taken our own song and played it back to us and let us know that they're, they're there, they're, you know, they're listening and they're, they're thinking about us. And it's been really, I can't stress enough how um, special and, and what a, an important role all of that has played in, in you know, getting through this. I know that not only the band, but also you know, Talinda, Chester's wife and, um, and his family, um, have felt the same way. It's hard. It really is hard to listen to that song. Right. Um, and Talinda's been posting pictures and some video, and some of his yeah. kids have been yeah. posting. Oh, by the way, it's, it's Talinda's birthday, you guys. Oh, oh happy wish birthday, her, Talinda. Yeah, everybody wish her happy birthday. Go on, go on Twitter, go on, on Instagram, wish her happy birthday. She's awesome. Um, yeah. Tell us about, a lot of times fans are uh, brokenhearted for you because they've formed a bond with you and the other band members. And yeah. a lot of times it feels like it's tough to get to an artist but you guys really do pay attention to the fans that that send you stuff and that post stuff um and you and they they were able to get to you yeah i mean we we definitely um we've always been available on social media and i think that we've in in some ways we try and um kind of like guide our our little our lincoln park culture our community to so that there's some sense of like what's the right way to do it you know right like chester always used to joke like he would tell people on in interviews and stuff like he'd just tell them outright like if i'm having dinner with my wife that's the wrong time <laughs> and you know like like if, if we're saying goodbye at the airport and crying like yeah maybe wrong time <laughs> right um, maybe read the room uh, a little so funny so funny <laughs> Um, and, and I think that they've been, it's been really, you know, it's been really sensitive. It's been really tasteful and, and, um, we've reposted things. We've, we've included, um, we even for the lyric video for one more light, like we just reposted a fan video. Like they made this beautiful wow. lyric video and it had typos in it and like wrong lyrics. We were like, should we, should we fix those? Like they did such a good job on it. Who cares? Like let it go up with, with lyric problems and whatever. Like they did. You know, um, as they say in like, I have kids who are like little, and they always tell kids in kindergarten, you don't your your work doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to do your personal best. Right. <laughs> I I'm say like, that to I'm Kevin. Like, this, is a very, this is very much like a personal best kind of thing. I yeah. say that to Kevin every day. Yeah, Mike. To yeah Kevin. I know the whole the whole crew over there really <laughs> encourages Kevin to just do all he can. It's tough, Mike. It's very tough. Oh, I, I know. I feel for you. Listen, um, tell people about your event at the Hollywood Bowl. So yeah, I, I think I said earlier there were two things that came from the um, interactions with the fans and and um, one of them by the way this this second the second thing is um, was was kind of um, I'd gone to Rick Rubin as a kind of a source of like you know um, Wisdom? Kind of guidance yeah mm -hmm. and said you know he said um, I, I know you guys know this and I know it's it's obvious because you're I know you're looking at, at social media and stuff say i just i i think you guys need to get on stage i think yeah. that's going to be the thing that'll feel good it'll be super super hard and um and up I till this point you haven't done it right we haven't we haven't gone out put together in public we haven't made any you know we haven't played right. we haven't gone on stage and he said yeah he said you know the the, the fans want to see you um but most importantly not because they want to see a show it's like you, you, there's a cathartic experience that needs to happen and I think it'll inform you know your what you guys are doing and and I and I thought it over and I really I I know that for some of the guys in the band um getting on stage is is more scary than other guys in the band but I will say that for all of us it's definitely the thing that we we want to do it's the you know it feels like the right way to celebrate Chester and we want it to not be um so okay so the 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 real um us like meat and potatoes of the of the whole thing is we decided we're going to have a show uh, in la it's going to be october 27th at the hollywood bowl mm -hmm. and um we're going to do it with um you know there there's we're inviting some other friends um that that list of, of guests will be um we it's still coming together it's not announced yet so we'll that's more to come on that part but it is we are going to be playing Hollywood Bowl, October 27th. And as Lincoln Park and friends celebrate life in honor of Chester Bennington. Yeah. And I do want to point out just like that, that um, with something like this, like, and it was the same at his funeral. I, I, we really, 
I know that the that the circumstances of his passing were really dark, um, and that you know, as we said on in the at the time, the darkness that he had like was always there, and it was kind of part of the package. But what was so unique and special about this guy is that he 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 used it as fuel to do so many positive things, and he really put in. He did so many. His his overall like the way he was was so. Um, he was such a happy guy. He was such a fun guy. And when he'd walk in the room, it's like it was such a like positive, funny, upbeat energy. Um, and and that's what we want to get out of this show. Like I know it's going to be it's going to be a roller coaster of emotion. But I, I I do you know when we talk about this and when we're focusing on the show, it's it's really about like we say celebrating life. It's Lincoln Park and Friends Celebrate Life in honor of Chester Bennington. Friday, October 27th at the Hollywood Bowl. Tickets go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster, or you can go to uh, lincolnpark.com for the pre-sale. And this sounds like it's going to be a great event. It's October 27th again at the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, We also have a pair of tickets to give away right now. If there are any Lincoln uh, Park fans listening that want to go to this, 1-800-520-1067. We will take caller 20. Mike, it's great to hear your voice. Um, We're glad that you and the guys are doing well, you know, in spite of, Mm. and that you're moving on, and we are looking forward to the Hollywood Bowl. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, man. We appreciate it. Thanks to everybody listening, too.